Anyway, I just celebrated in London two parties with Michael Caine, my celestial twin. We were born in the same year, month, day, and hour. I met on an Italian job, uh, when I did the school the Italian job, my son was born there. And Beckham told me that, uh, that now, there's a song we wrote called Self-Preservation Society, all the soccer games, the whole audience sings that song, Self-Preservation Society, and I was shocked, because that's 41 years ago. So, uh, I've celebrated my 76th birthday quite a few times these last few weeks. <laughs> we, we did two incredible... <laughs> I'll be 80 before this year is over. <laughs> and uh, we had this beautiful party in, uh, in England, uh, which was two, two beautiful parties there. And then I have a very sweet Egyptian Moroccan girlfriend in Cairo and her family. They gave me four parties. They can party over there, trust me. <laughs> and I, 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 they, they kill me. And then we took a 17 hour trip down to Texas. Uh, she also surprised me on the last night when my 20-year homies, Harvey Keitel and Bob, I said, Bob, Bobby De Niro, when they walk into it, I said, yeah, I was a surprise, they were there with their families. I don't know how she did that. And the wives were there with them. <clears throat> and it was more than a joyous celebration. I mean, man, stand it being vertical to me is more important every day. It was a joyous celebration, although they lit all the birthday candles, and there was so damn many candles that I was worried they're going to have to call in the fire marshal. <laughs> I like it when they put one or two. You know, that's that's the nice thing to do. When you get over a certain age, and though you may think I'm a senior chronologically, the Nobel doctors tell me my brain and heart are as healthy as a 22-year-old. <laughs> So I ain't even thinking about, I'm not even close to thinking about slowing down. Even though at the age of 76, sometimes my back goes up more than I do. <laughs> and contrary to popular opinion, this, and this is good news for the guys out here. Uh, the, the good news is, reality is once you get over the hill, outside of getting you know, bus tickets, free bus tickets, and half price on the movies and stuff, when you get over the hill, that's when you really pick up some speed. <laughs> now the bad news, <laughs> the bad news is what my beloved friend and comedian George Burns, who I hung out with forever with Sinatra, until the age of 100, told me that sex after 90 is like shooting pool with a rope. <laughs> <laughs> They said you were gangsters, so I guess it's okay to say that. Yeah. <laughs> My path uh, in the music was uh, kind of a, an improbable one. 